utter nonsense. That's a direct quote from Noriel Rabini, who was speaking at a New York conference. His comment was in response to investor Jim Rogers' prediction that gold will rocket to at least $2,000 an ounce. Rabini rejected that idea, saying that gold may simply continue to rise, but it won't spike nearly that much. Patrick, I'm certain that as soon as I buy the GLD gold ETF, the price will plunge. So tell me, given that it's up so much this year and especially in recent months, isn't it due for a big dip? When it comes to one of the potential bubbles in the making, and that is gold, we're having people come out saying $2,000 an ounce. A big part of the rise in gold is the fact that there are a lot of ETFs, mutual funds buying the actual asset over which you have no control, technically, because they're That's not futures contracts. That's Does this concern you? Do you think that there is room or, or need, perhaps, to regulate this area of the market because this looks like a, potentially a speculative area? What do you use gold for? You don't eat it? No, you, you wear it. Nothing. You wear it. Let me ask you this. What is a scenario? Can you think of a scenario in your head in which gold will actually trade lower? Because it seems like any sort of economic scenario you lay out, that's a reason for gold to go higher. And that, as a journalist, scares me and makes me skeptical about this move higher. I'm, talk I'm not talking about numismatic value. You know, the, the Canadian maple leaf, the American gold, whatever, yes. sovereign or whatever. All right, gold up another 1% after hitting another record high overnight. So will the run continue into next year and beyond? Yep. It does make you think, though, Mark, doesn't it? You know, humans, their need for putting value on something. Gold. Why it is so psychologically yeah, exactly. valuable. I mean, it is. It is. It's a I human... understand it's valuable, yes. but I don't know how you, how you price it. I don't get that. Matters up here, I guess.